So Oregon it will be number one, yeah. and they will play the winner as it stands now of the 8-9 matchup, which will be Indiana-Tennessee. Yeah, because BYU technically is 9, but they jump up to 4 because they're projected to win the Big 12. So right. it, it, it kind of throws a little bit of a loop. So yeah, right now in the in the first round we got Indiana, Tennessee, Alabama, Texas, yeah. Notre Dame, Penn State, and then uh, someone in Boise State. There you go, Ohio State, Boise State. Wow, look at Ohio State! Oh my God! And there are the duckies. If the playoff started today, yeah, Ohio State, their first two games mm-hmm. would be Boise State. <laughs> the committee's just handing it to them. And BYU. Look, I'm not gonna lie. Neither one of those is a cupcake. That's as good of a path as you could hope I mean, for. Come on, being the five seed is going to be good. Yeah. Well, and again, things can change. Yeah, but you're right. Because yeah. you're going to host a game against yep. the last team in. Yep. And then you're going to get to move on to. I mean, it's it's the team that is the worst conference champion essentially. That's exactly so right. So that, that's the path yeah, you the, want. The five seed is the is where you, you have want. to play one extra game. Because but... yeah, you got to play one extra game. But that game you are going to probably play. You're going to play a Boise State or an Army, um, someone like that. Uh, yeah, you'll you'll play Boise. I guarantee it's probably it's gonna probably be Boise. gonna be Boise. But you know, Boise could could lose, and someone else could could jump up. But yeah, you're getting Boise, and then more than likely you're getting the Big Twelve champ, which is gonna be SMU or well, SMU's Colorado in the or, ACC. or oh, excuse me, yeah, I, BYU, sorry. BYU or Colorado or Kansas or, State, yeah, Kansas Iowa State, State, Iowa State. Boy, that would be the. I mean. You got to play the extra game, but that's a good path. And then in that third round, then you would stare down the number one team, which again, if chalk held, would would be Oregon. So wait, am I? Are you? Uh, what? Are you well, okay? I was thinking about. I was thinking about a team, say the Big Twelve would be the mm. only way this, the only conference this would happen in. Yeah. Is it possible the Big Twelve champion is not ranked in the top twelve? Is it possible? Would that, that even be possible? Uh, it they would, would still get a would top still four get seed. A top four seed. So they would just automatically rank them in the top twelve because they won the big. Tw- but like seriously, like let's say BYU, let's it, say the BYU, it's just carnage in the Big Twelve. Like November. the winner has two yeah, losses, and the winner is not even. Yeah, the best. It'd be like Colorado. Yeah. No, because Colorado is like twentieth or whatever, twenty first, wherever you want to rank them. They probably and, still be high and, 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 and as they would, as they would win over these next couple weeks, the committee will make sure that. That that yeah, team, and that's what I was gonna say. The, the they'll team manipulate the, the team yes. up. But so, I I could see an, that there is a outside chance that let's say Colorado came out of nowhere, and Boise State held firm. I could see a a, a world where Boise State gets the bye and not Colorado. Yeah, because they they qualify for the bye if they're ranked higher than yes. one of the conference champions. Yes, it is not. You do not get the automatic spot because you're wow. in the Power Four. It's the top four ranked champions. So if Boise State were to be ahead of whoever the Big 12 champ is, they would get the nod. Now, that's probably not going to happen, but in theory, okay. you could if Kansas State or Colorado or someone like that were to win the Big 12 as a two-loss champ. Uh, or like you said, if there was absolute carnage and that was a three-loss conference champ, yeah, maybe. Okay, so let's do a fun little exercise. Mm-hmm. Uh, Oregon would play the winner of Indiana-Tennessee. Yeah. Who do you want? That game would be at Tennessee. Boy, I I know this. I think I'd rather play Tennessee. I don't know because I, I, <laughs> I just don't know anything about Indiana. I would say honestly, I want Indiana. Tennessee has no offense. Tennessee has no offense, but it, from a talent standpoint, I would lean towards Tennessee. I really need to see the Indiana Ohio State game because my my heart wants to say you'd rather play Tennessee, but we just don't know what Indiana is until they get a real test. We just don't know. And maybe we'll see because Indiana's got what Michigan, uh, and you'll get at least an idea. If they lay forty-five on Michigan, I'm like, yeah, I'll take Tennessee because you're right. Tennessee doesn't score, but Tennessee also beat Alabama. So I just, from a talent standpoint, I don't think I, I think you'd you'd rather see Indiana and the James Madison boys than than a team that's a, a top fifteen recruiter. Okay, Boise State or Notre Dame. Uh, you're Oregon. You're Oregon again. You want Boise State again? I, I want Boise State again. I just familiarity I, helps you. Familiarity, lesser and, talent, and it's just lesser talent. And I know you know Genty is really good, and, and I just, I, I just, I'm a talent guy. 
I just am. At the end of the day, I'd rather you, run it back against them. I, I would just, I just, I don't want to play a team that is more talented. And to a man, with the exception of Genty, Notre Dame and Tennessee are light years better talent wise than than Boise State. Like you didn't play very good against Boise. Mm-hmm. Boise gave you everything they had. And you why can did, play better, and you've had a chance to measure them. Now. And why did you beat Boise State? Because your athletes were just better, especially on special teams. And it's not that they couldn't beat you, but I'd no. rather play them than Notre Dame. Yeah, I think I'd rather okay. run it back against Boise. But I'll tell you what, I'd be sweating bullets. Like if that's the 12 seed, that ain't an easy out. Boise gave you all you could handle, and that was at your place. Power rank, your Oregon, power rank who you want to play most to least between Tennessee, Notre Dame, and Alabama. I don't want to play Alabama. Really? They're last. We're still worried about them. I just again. Just they, talent. Just talent, and 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 they've they've been there, and they beat Georgia. I know Alabama is so up and down. Alabama is the top team on that list as far as the one you don't want to face, and I, it's a tough call between Notre Dame and Tennessee. Notre Dame and Tennessee, because I both think they have serious flaws in 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 both, and I don't think either team uh, particularly scares me. Um, Notre Dame is just since that awful game against Northern Illinois. And I know they haven't necessarily played a ton of people, but their offense looks way better and they're scoring points. And Tennessee is so one-dimensional. I think I'm going to say that I, I would rather play Tennessee than Notre Dame. Okay. I just and, and to be fair, I haven't seen Tennessee play a bunch. I've seen Tennessee play two games and then parts of a, a third. I just don't like freshman quarterbacks, and eh, their their offense just gives me the, uh, the Iggies. Okay. I've got two more. Power rank. This is uh, through the prism of Oregon. Yeah. Power rank. Who you would want to play least to most mm-hmm. between Georgia, Texas, and Ohio State. I don't want to play Georgia. Yeah, that's the that's who you want to play the least for I, sure. I don't want to play Ohio State again. I think I'd rather play Texas. Of those three, uh-huh. you'd most rather. Is that what you think too, yeah. there, Duck Boy? Yeah. Mm. That, te- Texas and Ohio State's really tough. It's it's the whole burden hand thing. Like you you know because uh, you've lined up against them what you can do against Ohio State. I, I think you'd probably rather play Texas than the, you would Ohio State, but it's hard to say. The thing that gives me a little bit of a I'll play Ohio State again is their O line is not anywhere near what it was when they played you and they lost two guys in that game. And I'm not certain that that O line will ever be back. I just think on a neutral field, and if in that game Ohio State gets you. On a neutral field, that's razor thin. Now, I think that Oregon continues to get better, and I think they're healthy, and Ohio State is not, and I'm not certain that that's the same Ohio State team. So that doesn't scare me. I just think oh, I think Texas, eh, and I think they've got a quarterback issue right now. I really do. And so I, I know it's, it's it's weird, but okay. I think I'd I think I if I had to, I think I'd pick Texas. In okay, that. last grouping. Your Oregon. Who do you want to play least in power rank between Boise? BYU, Miami, and Indiana. BYU is the first team you want to play, right? Yeah. You want to play them? Want over... to play them the most. I think I'd, I'd, I'd play BYU. I don't think physically BYU is going to stand up against you. Then it's Boise, Then it's probably. Boise again. Physically, I'm not certain they can stand up against you. And and then I think it's Indiana again. They haven't proven anything. And I know I'm, I'm not a Miami believer, but Miami can score. Miami's going to score points on you. Uh, I don't think they're going to stop you. I think you'd win. But we talked about this. When you play a team with an offense that can score 40 points, weird things can happen. You can get a, you can get dumb passes. You can get penalties. If your offense is just off by a click or whatever, Miami's going to put up points. And I don't. And that's the team that can beat you in a shootout. The uh, only I, other thing about that, though, is that Dave Bartu talks about all the time the coaching effect. Yeah. I, I would rather play Mario Cristobal staff and Kurt Signetti staff. Indiana but, is but, just such a big, fat, I don't know. Yeah. I just I, I, again, this may my opinion of Indiana is going to evolve so much over the next two weeks. I just I don't even know. I, I couldn't even begin to tell you what the hell to do with with Indiana. But I do know from a physical standpoint when you traditionally play these sorts of games, um, and we saw Boise State, and Boise State gave you all you could handle. But BYU and Boise State especially at the end of the year when when everyone's nicked up a little bit, they physically should not be able to line up and play four quarters with with you at, at Oregon. And Indiana, 
I, I would assume is kind of that same thing. Miami's the one squad that has NFL guys across the board that, and, and I just, like I said, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a talent guy. All right, there's a fun little exercise. Let's uh, meet back here next Tuesday and do it all over again. And the one after that, and the one after that, and yep. then we'll get to meaningful ones. It's fun, though. Anyone it that, is fun. Anyone that thought that this version was going to make the regular season worse, dude. Way wrong. You're, you're out to lunch. It just, this is so it much better. It ropes more teams into it. You, like I said, 26 teams for 11 spots. Yes. And that will continue to narrow down over the next five weeks, and that's fun. And how great was that that bracket when you look at it? You're like, oh, yeah. man, look at some of those matchups. Right. All the different then, scenarios and yes. things that could shift and adjust. Yeah, it's great. Because if you're looking at a four-team playoff, yeah. how many teams realistically still have a shift? Well, like this Seven? Alabama-LSU game again. It does not matter it's if meetings. it were a four-team playoff. Yes. Yep. And I wouldn't think that me and the Huck and Hebrew at BYU would have anything to, to be going for. You're like, oh, God, we got to be undefeated or else. And now all yeah, of a sudden. Yeah, you would have to be undefeated. You'd have to be undefeated. Yeah. All right, uh, college football playoff rankings. Ducks number one. 